So I've reached the end of my second year on YouTube. And as it happens, I've also reached the end of my top 10 list in this series. And it's it's been a tough decision to make for these 10 stamps. There's so many beautiful stamps worldwide and therefore you should just take this list with a grain of salt. Ask me again next week and I might have a different list for you. But before I show you mine, I'll show you a couple of viewer lists. Starting with this set from Sayanton Gosal. It's a 19 stamp set released by Italy in 1950, depicting various jobs and vocations, such as auto mechanic, weaving, olive picking, corn husking, and wood cutting, among others. I think this is a great looking set myself and it would really look nice massed together on an album page. So thank you Sayantan for your contribution. Next I have a top 10 list from Alan Witte and it goes like this. Top 10, top 10. From Guatemala is this set issued in 1897 for the Central American Expo. And Alan likes these because of all the different muted colors. He's liked this set since he started collecting. Number nine is Czechoslovakia, this semi-postal set. Alan really digs the lion on these stamps. Number eight comes Nyasaland Protectorate. The famous cat on the rock with the sun rays behind it. At number seven, we have a semi-postal set from Belgium featuring coats of arms. At number six, another set from Belgium. And this depicts St. Michael and Satan. And Alan really likes the design and the colors on this set. Another set in which he likes the design and the colors is this one from Ukraine. It's three out of the four first semi-postal stamp set was issued by Ukraine. And at number four comes these stamps from Latvia. These are actually three different sets between Scott's number 59 and 69. I don't show all the stamps here since they're all the same design, but these are what they look like. At number three comes French Morocco. These two designs with their cubist look to them, really appeal to Alan. And at number two, he has one of my favorite sets also, Uruguay, the Pegasus Airmails. This is a very long set of 56 stamps and very colorful. Here's what it looks like all together, and here's what it looks like a little closer up. And here's even more close up. Finally, at number one, we have this set from Yugoslavia for the Corinthia plebiscite. At the end of World War I, the newly formed Yugoslavia and Austria argued over the land that was Corinthia. So they held a plebiscite, which is they put the vote to the people. And the vote was 59% for going with Austria. And those purple overprints on the blue stamps really creates a striking visual design. So there you have it, another great viewer top 10 list. And now it's time for me to show you my top 10. But first, if I may, I'd like to ask you to hit the subscribe button and the like button if you do like the program. <laughs> and hit the bell icon so you can be notified of future episodes as they go up. So now, without further ado, here is my top 10 list. At number 10 is the first of two from Trinidad, this one being Scott number 91, issued in 1898, depicting the landing of Columbus on Trinidad 400 years earlier. At number 9 is Trinidad number 87 from 1896. At number 8 is the Great Britain to Bob Blue. Scott number 55 from 1867. 
At number seven we have Gambia from 1887, Scott number 13. And this just a simple but elegant cameo design that just is really classic. At number six, we have this set from Malta, number 17 and 18, showing Britannia on the left and St. Peter after the shipwreck. These are two great engravings with really nice color that just really looks even nicer in person than it does here. At number five, from Imperial China in 1898, the dragon issue. This is just a beautiful stamp in my eyes. At number four, the legendary Sudan Camel Postman. Sudan liked this design so much they kept it in use until 1954. At number three is this classic, the Seated Helvetia from Switzerland, Scott number 50 of 1862. And you should be able to tell, especially if you're at full screen on a desktop, this is printed in gold metallic ink and it just, it just looks beautiful. At number two, we have this German offices in the Turkish Empire from 1900 showing the Berlin Post Office building. And I'm just a sucker for intricate engraved architecture on stamps. This is of course a regular German issue also, but I happen to have this one from the Turkish Empire offices. And at number one, this will probably always remain my number one stamp, Nova Scotia from 1860. I like the way they didn't make the frame fill up the whole stamp area in that beautiful, elegant profile engraving of the Queen. It's just so elegant and classic. I just love it. So there you have it, my last top 10 list. I've gone through all the different eras, the first and second half of the 20th century, the 21st century, U.S. stamps, worldwide stamps. And that, and that takes care of my top 10. But I would still like to see your top 10 list. If you would like to see your list featured in a future video, just send me a line at gmail.com, TED Talk Stamps, and I will set it up for you. So thanks for all your support over the last two years. I'm looking forward to this next year, and I'll see you next time. Until then, this is Ted the Talking Stamp Collector wishing you all happy stamping. <laughs>